Hello, it's the Randy Duck and welcome back for another video. Today I've got three replays to show you in the tier 8 German premium medium tank, the Panzer 58 Mutz. This tank is available to be earned in this season pass at level 75, but a lot of you have already probably earned this tank because it wasn't that long ago it was already in a season pass a couple of months back. But if you haven't had a chance to earn this tank, it is a very decent little tank. Especially since not that long ago it had a buff, it buffed from 240 alpha to 280 alpha, which made quite a significant distance um, to this tank, and it's actually very, very capable. You got 212 penetration on your standard rounds, and then 259 on your premium APCR with 1,250 shell velocity. When you combine that with the fact that it's got 10 degrees of gun depression and pretty good camo, it's a very, very good tank, and it's a tank which I've enjoyed quite a lot so here we are on the first map here we pushed quite aggressively because there's no artillery in and the enemy team didn't contest the hill uh, in the middle of the map so we've been able to try and move forward and try and get into position to put some punish on the enemy team we're just waiting to lose our spot and we're going to try if we can push around and use this bush as a little bit of cover to try and help ourselves not get detected before we fire that shot which allows us to get those shots in unpunished and like I say there's no artillery which can hit us so we're in a pretty decent position to just get these shots in here and I'm just trying to use the cover as best I can this is a um, we are top tier in this replay um, so we're just fighting all the tier 8 tanks this enemy SU gets spotted and we manage to set them on fire and you can see we're just having three farms for this location here and we actually don't even get detected firing through that bush I am sort of half expecting someone might just try and blind fire me if I keep doing this but also I'm just in a great position to just farm this damage and I'm going to try and track this heavy in place if I can which is always a good idea because it just gives you an extra you know it's either going to burn their repair kit or you're going to get an opportunity to get more damage in so still, like I say, this bush has worked really well for me. I don't even have the camo on the equipment on this, this tank, which you could potentially run, and it, it would be probably a decent idea to do. I just chose vents at the end because I just wanted to maximise my DPM. But running camo would work just as well. But you can see here, we're just not getting detected when we're firing. We're firing through two bushes right now, and we're just free farming and just really laying in the shots right now. Um, and really puts in a good situation, picking up quite a chunk of damage already. I think one to about 3,000 damage. And there's still eight tanks in this game, and we've got no reason to do anything else right now. But now that the enemy team has started to push back a little bit more around this rock, so obviously I'm just free farming them, which means I'm going to have to try and adjust. But like I said, there's no artillery, so I'm trying to get to a position to try and get some shots in. You can occasionally bounce shots off of this turret, but what I would say is I wouldn't rely upon the armour. Like, the armour's not the strength of this tank, even though you can get the odd ricochet, especially when you are top tier. But at the moment, I'm just trying to make it difficult for the enemy team to shoot us and, you know, trying to just lose my spot if I can. So I just don't know if there's any tank destroyers covering these tanks, which is why I'm a little bit cautious. But with our friendly light tank now well in their base, that if they are, that's going to probably distract them. Uh, and I'm going to be able to try and get some more damage in. I just want to just get as much out of this game as we possibly can because we are starting to win this. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pen that Chrysler K there, uh, but he did get taken out uh, shortly after by our friendly little tier 6 tank there. And, you know, it's just how much can we get out of this game now. It's going to be a win. It's 11 versus 4. Um, I just want to try and get as much many shots in as I possibly can. I am still full hit points. I can afford to eat shells if I need to. So far, I haven't actually yet any that you know lost any hit points which is great because this means i can just sit in front of guns and actually eat shots in order to get more damage out of this game put ourselves onto about four thousand damage only three uh, tanks remaining we pick up our second kill uh is this uh we eat our first like real chunk of hit points there but like i say there's two tanks left it doesn't matter if i burn hit points right now it's just about getting as much out of this game as i can i want to see if i can try and get to five thousand damage which would be nice just to round this game up um, this tank is still fairly healthy, but he's getting collapsed in by sort of all the tanks. I'm going to try and get the track shot in so I can pick up some uh, track assistance off of this tank as well. Should have the kill shot here, and we do finish in that game with 5,000 damage. Let's just get to the scoreboard before we move on to the second replay of the video. So we managed to get four kills, 5,000 uh, damage there, tiny bit of assistance, and we do indeed pick up the ace tanker and the high calibre. But let's move on now to the second replay of the video. Okay, so here we are on Mali for the second replay. This time we are bottom tier. So this is a tier 10 matchmaking. 
and we are platooned up with our good friend uh, Swindle321. And initially, I'm kind of deciding, do I want to push all the way across and get under their ridge, which is a good position to spot their hill, but risky on the cross, or do I want to sort of sit in the middle? But I've got Swindle with me, he's asking what I'm going to do. I said, you know what, I'm just going to push, and then you can get some covering shots in and cover me. Um, so I'm trying to make the cush. What I don't want to happen is to get spot early, and unfortunately I do. And now I'm kind of expecting to eat some damage uh, from the cross. Thankfully I had a good spawn, and I've got it pretty quickly. And it looks like I'm going to get away with this without really eating any damage, which is ideal. Um, because then we can get to the position we want to. That light tank's a bit of a problem there, but he's, he's under a lot of pressure and he's starting to eat a lot of shells. So I'm going to try and poke to see if I can spot the hill. I'm not really detecting anything, and I don't know if that means the enemy team have, have gone really like wide up the hill so I couldn't spot them, or they're pushing down the uh, river road down the sort of 1-2 line. But we do spot some stuff going to hill. We get a couple of shots in there as we poke on the left. I'm just trying to keep this TD on the left detected to give me the best chance of picking up assistance damage. Unfortunately, we eat a shell there uh, from that AMX, which was an ideal. And he's kind of in an awkward position for us to get damaged. I'm just mainly trying to keep it detected. But I just realised there's something else there um, looking for shots. Being it's a tier 10 matchmaking, I have got to be a little bit careful. Because if I do get detected, I could eat a lot of damage. Thankfully that shell uh, misses when I was trying to spot back those tanks. Trying to keep the hill lit as much as I can. But it's getting a little bit awkward for us right now. Um, just with, you know, we don't, there's a TD which we just don't know where he is. So I was about to move round and try and go to a different position. But this tank looks like he is coming straight in. He should get punished here. He's going to try and flame me but thankfully he gets tracked and it wasn't really possible for him. Um, looking at this game we are starting to win in, but there is quite a lot of tanks coming from this hill and it looks like we're going to lose the hill so I've kind of taken a decision based on that I don't want to stay where I am because if they win the other side they're going to be able to shoot me quite easily I need to try and make a decision to try and get the pressure knowing that we're going to lose the hill I want to try and spot the tanks which I know will be around this corner quickly so we can kill them before the enemy team come off of that hill so I'm trying to spot the TDs here's this uh, um, which I couldn't spot earlier um, we do hopefully He's going to take some punish. We actually do spot this enemy um, Death Star crossing. We get one shot into this tank. I suspect he's looking to try and get a shot into me. So I'm playing a risky game. But that Death Star is just fired, which gives me an opportunity to start getting the damage in. I want to get as much damage into this tank as I can to put him as low as possible. Unfortunately, we ricocheted that shell because we're trying to not eat one off of the serve there. Uh, and Death Star is probably you know, almost reloaded now. And I've got a hunch that, that that Death Star is annoyed with me. And he's just going to come full round and try and get shots into us. But thankfully we do have cover. But it is getting quite close now. And that Death Star really needs to die quickly. Uh, at this point I'm thinking my game's done. He's coming round. But then he misses his um, shell. And that's going to give me an opportunity to, to kill this Death Star before he's able to, to do any damage. And we do pick up our first kill there on the Tier 10 Tank Destroyer. I think this serve has started to run now. We've got this enemy um, Earthshaker here as well. Like I say, for me, I'm just trying to win this fast because I know we're losing the hill. So, you know, I had a decision to make. I went back to try and defend the hill or I try and kill these tanks over here. Swindle has just sort of shouted at me because the Waffle with 100 is full pushed him. So I'm trying to come and help. Absolutely no idea how that Waffle with 100 did not kill Swindle there. Uh, but thankfully he did a good job and he actually ended up killing the waffle, which you know I thought he was a goner for, for sure. Um, but now we're going to try and push around and spot this Earthshaker and Stir, which we were fighting earlier. We do spot this um, Earthshaker, we get a nice shot into him there, trying to get a second one in, but obviously bearing in mind that he is obviously now alerted to our presence and is looking for shots in. So I've got to be awkward, you know, you've got to be careful as much. I'm just trying to peek as slow as possible. We do get another shot in. This stir looks like it's coming round to try and get some shots into us. But now he's under pressure. We can try and finish off this tank. I want to kill this tank fast. He's, you know, he's able to pen him here because he's side onto us. Pick up another kill, putting us onto about 3,000 damage. And now, now the enemy team haven't actually, you know, haven't actually won the hill. They haven't actually pushed off of the hill. And we've got a lot of tanks covering them if they do. Um, so it's just about getting as much damage out of this game as we possibly can now. We picked up 3,000 damage, 1,000 assistance and 2 kills. So we're having a decent game considering it we are, like I say, in a tier 10 
um, matchmaking. But at the moment, I can't move until this Earthshake is dead because he's going to spot me as I cross. And I want to try and just get rid of this Earthshake. We put him on a one shot, but now he's holed down to us. And he's a little bit awkward. I could maybe fire the HE and just slowly splash him. But thankfully, he gets taken out by a friendly light tank. Now I realise the rest of the enemy team, and the majority of them, are on the opposite side of the map down to 1-2. So what I want to do is spot them to pick up that assistance damage. So I'm just going across the field here to try and spot the enemy team. But I'll get spotted early and that's an enemy um, autoloader. You know, and I don't want to just get deleted crossing it because it would kill me. So I'm going to have to play a little bit smarter than that. But I do pick up some assistance and I, you know, now I'm just going a long way. And that's kind of worked quite well for us that little poke there we get that assistance damage in um, there's two tanks remaining i know exactly where they are it's with this heavy tank i'm just trying to get over there to try and maximize my assistance get there before my friendly team do and in that way i will pick up the rest of this in assistance so maybe we'll even pick up some damage because we can eat a few shells now um because we still got yeah, a thousand hit points so we it's the end of the game there's only two tanks left so we're making our advance, we know exactly where they are, like I say, if they poke, they're going to get shot by our friendly team, so he's not really going to be able to overpeak on us, because he's just going to get punished, which means we might be able to try and finish it off this enemy tank destroyer, we eat one shell, pick up the kill there, confirming our third kill of the game, and just, yeah, there's, there's one tank left, we should be able to get some shots in here. We get one in, he gets one shot in, he's got a five second interclip, so I'm looking for the finish, but he gets taken out. Uh, before I'm able to and that brings us an end to the second replay which was bottom tier let's see how we did we managed to get three kills 3600 damage I think over 2000 base XP 2400 assistance and again the ace tanker so one more replay left and we will move on okay so here we are for the final replay then on Abbey we are again platooned up with Swindle and this is a top tier uh, matchmaking and I've told Swindle quite early on my intentions, and I'm going to push this line, this road down here. I'm going to try and get all the way over into the riverbed, knowing that I've got someone reliable in a SU with a, a nasty gun, which can cover me and get some assistance. I was trying to hope that we had a little bit more for coming with it, even this. It literally is just me and Swindle down this um, side. So hopefully the enemy team don't bring too much down here. We get a nice shot there into that enemy tier 6 and he gets slapped by a swindle who's covering us. I want to just get up to this ridge as soon as I possibly can because I know that if I can stop them crossing they're not going to be able to light swindle in that SU because it's got a fantastic camo and he's going to be able to free farm. Like these tanks like this are just going to get you know easy shots for Sai. Gets a lovely shot into that light tank there um, you know, confirming a bit more assistance. And it looks like a lot of the enemy team are actually in the middle of the map. So I don't think there's that much more round here. There's this, this tiger who, unfortunately for him, is, is stock. So I'm just going to try and, you know, just free farm this tank, to be honest with you. Because he's stock. There's one tank uh, covering him there. But I'm just going to try and get rid of this tiger as quickly as I possibly can. Put him onto a one shot. I am eating a few shells to do it, but it's, it's worth it. Um, I should be able to, well, I'll finish off the Tiger, but then this enemy Nashon comes in. But you can see they're picking up all the uh, assistance there. 2,000 assistance, all from Swindle uh, in his SU. Fini well, we should have finished off the Tiger, but we cost ourselves a little bit more hit points there because we uh, bounced and we kind of rushed that shell. Uh, but now we have won this side. It's still a pretty close game, though. It's 11 versus 11. I'm going to see if I can try and spot which is round here. I want to be a little bit careful. I want to lose my um, you know, my sixth sense, my spot before I go round. Just in case there's quite a lot covering him. There is an enemy Earthshaker. We get a nice shot into Earthshaker which puts him onto a two shot to us. We get that shot in putting him onto the final shot which is a one shot. Should be able to get the kill here. I'd like to not eat a shell off of him if possible. And we do manage to secure that. And now that opens up an angle for me to get easy shots into the behind of these tanks here. Uh, so we get a nice shot there, tracking that enemy tank into position. Unfortunately for me, I've just spotted a Sturm Tiger, and that is not ideal because he looks like he has derp in his eyes. So I'm trying to pull back um, and hope my team can cover me. 
Now, this is a little bit of a mistake of me. I was trying to, you know, I didn't realize he could get the angle to shoot down on me, and he's just destroyed me and taken all of my hit points and put me on 200 hit points. I also have the artillery looking to try and finish. I'm trying to get as many shots in as I can just to weaken this tank before he's reloaded. I've probably got an opportunity to get one more in, but I don't risk it because I think he's probably reloaded now. And now I'm in a pickle because I've got artillery looking at us. I'm concerned I'm going to get shot from behind if I pull back. But right now I don't have a lot of choice because that Sturm is, you know, is coming for us. And my only real chance here is to you know, get shot through his track wheel um, and stop him coming around the corner. Because if he comes around and manages a turn, he's just going to yeah, he's gonna kill me. So I do track him in place, but he does repair that. Now I'm hoping, am I going to get enough time to get back? I'm just trying to go back, make it as difficult as I can for this Sturm to get shots into me. I have managed to put him on two or one shot, but yeah, I am in an awkward situation. Do we manage to get that kill? We just managed to squeeze that in before he's able to kill us. And now we've got 4,000 damage, 2,000 assistance, three kills, but we've only got 200 hit points left. But we're just, you know, we're still in the chance to get some damage here. We spotted a, well, an enemy Iron Rain has, has been spotted on the right hand side. We're just going to zoom over there as quickly as we can to try and get some shots. I just want to get another little shot into this tank if we can. The enemy team has actually started capping, so if I can get a damaging shot into this uh, enemy tank destroyer down here, I should be able to... So iron Rain, this wasn't uh, an Iron Rain, uh, but yeah, we do manage to pick up a, a, a shot there, putting us under just shy of yeah, 4,000 damage, 2,000 assistance of three kills, but there's only one tank left and it's in the cap, and we've actually got a pretty good speed on this medium tank. We may actually have a chance to... We get there before our team to pick up a bit of assistance because I have no idea how many hit points. Now I've just realised he's full hit points. There's probably a chance of getting 5,000 damage out of this if I'm able to get there um, as quickly as I possibly can. To just end up really end the game in a good way because, like I say, I'm, I'm a one shot, but at this stage, yeah, this, yeah we're not going to lose this game. It's just about who gets as much damage. We've gone straight through the middle because we know we'll get good shots into this tank. We do arrive in time and we should be able to land some shots here. So we just got to aim this shot. We get one shot in there and it's just about how many can we get. I want to try and get over the 5,000 mark again just to make it a nice even game. So we just need one more penetration shot. We should even pick up the kill here potentially. We do get that shot in. We wasn't able to, you know, to pick up the kill but maybe we'll get another opportunity. We don't but we do end up with a decent game. And that brings us then to the video. So let's see how we did there on Abby. We got three kills, 5,000 damage, 2,200 uh, odd so base XP, and 3,000 assistance. So, decent game. Get the ace tanker, get the high caliber. Um, and yeah, that is it for the video in the mutt. So, thank you so much for watching, and as always, happy tanking.